and he won. Does anybody see the picture of Chad LeClow? Do you guys know that name? Anybody found the Olympics? Chad LeClow was the swimmer who was taunting Michael Phelps in the preliminary for that race. South African. South African. Michael Phelps had this look on his face. Michael Phelps just stayed in his lane. This picture, I posted on Facebook. People posted it all over the place. You got Michael Phelps, who's intently focused in his lane. Chad Leclo got first in the preliminary, okay? Actually had nudged out Phelps. People thought, wow, maybe Leclo actually could beat Michael Phelps. Take him down. It would have been the fourth Olympics in a row that he won gold, which has never been done. Leclo, in that race, the picture, he's like this, staring at Michael Phelps, seeing where he is in his lane during that race. If you spend your life if you spend your days taking a look at what somebody else is doing, how could you possibly have the expectation that for you in your life, you can give it everything that you've got? The reason why this type of planning, these exercises I'm taking you through, the reason why they work is because if you become detailed about where you want to go, and you have a significant purpose as to why you want to go there, and you uncover in your life the part of your story, like I've uncovered mine, that will provide you perspective to never stop fighting, you will have the ability to stay in your lane and not worry about anybody else. Chad LeClo was so worried about Michael Phelps that he finished fourth. The guy didn't even medal. Think about that. I don't need a nod of heads. I want you to connect, and I've been there too. Are you focused on your lane? Are you focused on trying to be the best you? Because that's all I want for each and every single one of you when we hit 1130 tomorrow, is that as you add to this vision of where you want to go, what you're writing down, that's different. I hope it's different than anything you've ever written down as I politely challenged you. All I want is for you, after hearing these stories of what these extraordinary individuals have done at the highest level in the world at what they do, that you become obsessed in your life with being the best you that you can possibly be. It doesn't matter what level of success you have already achieved. It's about you being the best that you can be.